I've done a lot of research about coconut oil for the brain and I will share everything I know about it with you. Watch on. Coconut oil does work, but it comes at a price. Recap of the story. Mary Newport's husband was 51 years old when he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. She gave him four tablespoons of coconut oil a day, 60 days straight. Lo and behold, she saw improvements in cognition. I will be digging in a little deeper and you will not be finding that information out there so easily. If you buy MCT oil outside, which is often used as a substitute for coconut oil, listen on. Capric acid and caprylic acid are useful because they will be converted to ketones and ketones will provide energy for the brain. In Alzheimer's, there is usually an issue with getting energy from glucose. So using ketones as an energy source is going to help. In coconut oil, we do not just have caprylic acid and capric acid. We also have lauric acid. In terms of length, you have the MCT, which is medium chain. You have the long chain fatty acids on the other end. And in between, you have lauric acid. Lauric acid is not exactly medium chain and it's not long chain. And so you have lauric acid and you have the rest of the long chain fatty acids here. They make up 90% of the composition of saturated fat in coconut oil. So you probably have heard of saturated fat being bad for you. Yes, and that's why we're having this discussion here. So the issue with long chain fatty acids is they're not that easily broken down. And that can be an issue with gurgling down coconut oil every day. Let's not even talk about the lauric acid here. Let's talk about the long chain fatty acids here. These are what are going to make you fat in all the bad ways possible. It's not just fat in your arteries. It's also body and visceral fat. And these are not healthy for you. Now let's go into what's good in coconut oil that isn't there in MCT. First of all, lauric acid is really good at reducing inflammation, specifically brain inflammation. And brain inflammation has been posited as one of the leading causes of Alzheimer's. The second reason is a little more complicated, but I'll simplify it. It's that lauric acid is able to help you grow new brain cells. Research is ongoing, but it's these three things that hold potential for why lauric acid is good for your brain. Very soon in the future, new research might show that lauric acid is good for neuroplasticity, neurogenesis, and repairing neuronal damage. The price you have to pay would be higher cholesterol, expressed as increased LDL levels. And these higher LDL levels are the result of consuming more saturated fat. And this would be the long chain fatty acids that make up coconut oil. About 30% of coconut oil is made up of these long chain fatty acids. So when you're buying your coconut oil, you have choices. What you don't want to have is refined coconut oil. What you want to have is virgin coconut oil, VCO, or extra virgin coconut oil, EVCO. So the first hurdle to cross is to decide whether or not you want to use coconut oil in your regimen. The decision to do that has to come with the knowledge of the side effects and the side effects are on your cardiovascular system. If you do decide to proceed, mix would be how to use coconut oil. According to Mary Newport, you would be using a four to three ratio, four parts of MCT to three parts of coconut oil. That would be 120 ml of MCT added to 90 ml of coconut oil. Mary Newport is asking for us to use MCT together with coconut oil. Coconut oil has the lauric acid, which MCT does not have. The thing about MCTs is that they are shorter chain. They can be broken down more easily into ketones and ketones form an energy source for the brain. Whereas lauric acid in coconut oil is specifically for brain cell growth. And perhaps for that reason, Mary Newport is saying, let's have both. I hope this was helpful, but remember, the benefits of using coconut oil have to be weighed against the risks on your cardiovascular system. Have you ever used MCT oil or coconut oil for your brain? If you have, do share below. I'd like to know more. Thank you.